Tele Dentistry Tele Dentistry is a developing area of dentistry that links dental providers to their patients. The term Tele Dentistry is derived from the Greek word Tele, that means distance, and Medicine, which in Greek means to heal. Looking at the historical perspective of Tele Dentistry, so tele dentistry is similar to telemedicine which was first used in 1970s by NASA and more recently by the US military. The US Army's Total Dental Access TDA project is seen as being at the frontier of tele dentistry which had begun in 1994. TDA is the tele dentistry project within the Department of Defense that enables referring dentists from the US armed forces to consult with specialists a medical center about the status of a patient the term tele dentistry was used in 1997 when cook defined it as the practice of using video conferencing technologies to diagnose and to provide advice about the treatment over a distance so how does it work the changes within the past decade in the speed and method of data transfer have prompted clinicians and information technology experts to reevaluate tele dentistry as a highly valuable tool. For example, cases submitted to the dental laboratories have subtle complications or aesthetic nuances that require direct contact between the dentist and the laboratory technician. In these instances the ability to send color images of the patient's teeth and then to talk about the images can help to prevent making improperly constructed appliances thereby saving time and money Interactive access to specialist opinion is provided with the use of telecommunication and computer technologies which is not limited by time and space Tele dentistry can also be used to send information between the clinician and a primary health center in a remote region and in this way data can be shared between the clinician and remote communities. Tele dentistry can also be used in mobile dental van thus maintaining a continuum of communication. Tele dentistry can also be used for live video conferencing in which patients can consult their dentist or specialist regarding their dental problems or oral health problems. Now, tele dentistry can take two forms, either real-time consultation and the second one is toe and forward. Real time consultation is also known as two way interactive or synchronous, and store and forward method is the asynchronous form of tele dentistry. In the synchronous method, the information is transferred immediately between the dentist and the patient. So these are live conferences wherein the dentist and the patient, situated at different locations, can see, hear, and communicate with each other using advanced telecommunication technology. In the asynchronous or the store and forward method, it allows data to be stored in a local database to be forwarded as needed. So the patient's information and data such as the images and radiographs are collected and stored for review by a dental specialist at a time later on. So when in complicated cases when expert opinion is required, this method can be used. Later, the dentist reviews the information and makes a diagnosis and a treatment plan. Thus, the treatment is provided in a far more timely, targeted, and cost-effective manner. So next, the question comes, why use tele-dentistry? So what are the scope and advantages of tele-dentistry? Access to care for underserved and undertreated population. Tele-dentistry has been found to be extremely beneficial to elderly people. As a result, the majority of this group of patients can avoid hospital-based treatment entirely and need for expensive transport. One study found that 1 in 10 deaths from pneumonia in elderly nursing home residents may be prevented by improving oral hygiene. Teledentistry is a cost-effective method. The initial setup cost of teledentistry equipment is high but this is a one-time investment and the cost is negligible later on. 
The cost saving of Delhi dentistry is greatest in the remote communities as the need for expensive transport is also avoided. Mobile phones with various web-based applications can prove to be the simplest means of forwarding images for teleconsultation with absolutely no extra cost. Teledentistry involves sending of clinical images or audio files to a colleague to compare opinions and peer consultation which can often lead to better prognosis. Thus, it enhances the communication between the dentist and laboratory personnel. Information regarding patient detail can be stored in computers and mobile phones for record purposes and this data, if required, can be further transferred to a specialist for diagnosis and treatment planning. It also helps in early diagnosis and preventive treatment. For example, for the early diagnosis and proper management of precancerous lesions helps to prevent a lesion to turn into a malignancy. In addition, carious lesions can be detected at an early stage by this method and proper treatment can be planned for the patient. It also helps in training dental personnel at remote sites, so it is seen that there is a scarcity of specialists in remote areas. For this, we need to train the dental team at remote site because specialists cannot perform hands-on examination, thus leading to enhanced training of dental personnel. So these were the various advantages in teledentistry. Nothing can match the accuracy of the diagnosis of the patient performed clinically. So coming to the pitfalls in teledentistry, treatment requires visit to the clinic. Teledentistry may only help in the preventive and diagnostic procedures. For non-medicinal treatment, the patient has to visit the specialist for clinical work such as restorations and surgical procedures. Virtual examination. Diagnosis is based on the clinical photography that may change on face-to-face -face communication. The accurate display on intraoral photographs or video recording may be different than what is present actually. Decreased accuracy. Specialists cannot perform hand-on experience. They have to rely on the examination performed by the dental team at the remote site. Therefore, there should be a good relationship between dentists working in remote area and the specialist. And also there is the legal aspect. Telemedicine and teledentistry also raise concern about the confidentiality of medical and dental information. Therefore, an informed consent should be taken from the patient and the patient should be made aware about the inherent risk of improper diagnosis or treatment due to the failure of technology. Most of the teledentistry based education programs are in English. Since the internet is a worldwide tool, future goals should include consideration of more multilingual programs. So next the question arises, where and how to use teledentistry? Teleendodontics any faults in diagnosis can cause complications, problems, waste of time and money. With teledentistry, periapical lesions can be adequately assessed, which help to devise a necessary treatment plan. It reduces dental visits and makes urgent help available. Teleorthodontics The 2D and 3D models can be used for orthodontic evaluation. Measurement and assessment of relationships are done using software that process images. OrthoCAD is a newer technology in teleorthodontics. Teledental prosthetics. So the CAD CAM systems employ software technology which can be employed in dental prosthetics for making dental crowns, inlays and onlays. Highest level of computerized support in dental implants placement is also beneficial. Teleoral and maxillofacial surgery. Duca and Metal in 2009 showed that diagnostic assessment of the clinical diagnosis of impacted third molars assisted by the telemedicine approach was equal to the real time assessment of clinical diagnosis. Telepediatric and preventive dentistry. According to Billings RJ 2011, showed that teledentistry is as good as visual or tactile examinations for dental caries screening in young children. Role of teledentistry in community dentistry. 
In a study, it was found that dental hygienists can provide oral health care to underserved populations by digitally linking up with a distant oral health team, which is quite beneficial to the remote communities. And finally, talking about teledentistry in the coronavirus pandemic. So this is a study which was recently published by Rahman et al. Teledentistry from a patient perspective during the coronavirus pandemic published in the British Dental Journal, August 14, 2020. So the objective of the study was to evaluate patient experience when using teledentistry during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. So these are the results from the telephonic clinic survey results. The results of the study show that majority of patients were very satisfied with using teledentistry in all five domains, which were patient satisfaction, ease of use, the effectiveness including increasing access to clinical services, reliability of the teledentistry system and usefulness for patients. Thus, teledentistry can be valuable for future service preparedness planning whereby new patient referrals can be seen via this method for the initial stages of history taking and consent. So this was about teledentistry. I hope you have liked the presentation. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.